charts in Meditrader 4, you should see them displayed upon launching the platform. If your charts are not there, you can get them back by right-clicking your pair in the Market Watch box, found in the top left of the platform, and choosing Chart Window. To change the properties of your chart window, right-click within the chart and select Properties at the bottom. Within this area, you can change the default color scheme as well as customize your chart colors. You can also click on the Common tab and choose to show the Ask Line, Period Separators, and Object Descriptions. Directly above your chart, you can select your trading time frame by clicking one of the options provided to you. 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, etc. You can choose to zoom in or out of your charts by clicking the magnifying glasses with either the plus or minus symbols found in your charts toolbar at the top of the platform. To the right of the magnifying glasses, you will see two boxes with an L shape in each. When clicking the first box with the green triangle on it, your chart will automatically scroll to the last part, always found at its rightmost edge. This is your auto scroll button. When clicking the second box with the red plus sign in it, your charts will reflect the rightmost bar, but leave some space between the last bar and your right axis. This is your chart shift button. The carrot triangle at the top of the chart allows you to adjust the position of your chart shift. To the left of the magnifying glasses, you're given the option to view your charts in one of three forms when clicking on the button for either bar, candlestick, or line. The axis on your chart displays price to the right and time on the bottom. When you select the crosshair tool that looks like a large plus sign in the top left of your line toolbar and scroll into your chart, the time and the date are highlighted accordingly on each axis. To the right of the crosshair button, you'll see a vertical line tool. The vertical line can be used to mark various borders in the time axis, compare signals of indicators to price changes. To use this tool, align your cursor in a desired location and click once. The vertical line will be furnished with a label highlighted in red on the time axis. By double-clicking the line to select it, you're able to move its location by dragging it elsewhere. You can view and edit the line properties when it is selected by right-clicking and choosing Vertical Line Properties. To the right of the vertical line tool is your horizontal line tool. The horizontal line can be used to mark various levels, particularly of support and resistance. To use this tool, line your cursor in your desired location and click once. Your horizontal line will be furnished with a label highlighted to the right in red on the price axis. By double-clicking the line to select it, you're able to move its location by dragging it elsewhere. You can view and edit the line properties when it's selected by right-clicking and choosing Horizontal Line Properties. Your trend line is located to the right of the Horizontal Line tool. After selecting the trend line button, hover the cross over your first point and click, but do not release your mouse. Drag your cursor to your desired second point and then release. Your line will auto-adjust to the closest high or low. When you double-click the line to select it, you will notice that three small boxes appear on the line. One at the beginning, one at the end, and one in the middle. You can change the direction or location of your line by clicking and dragging from one of the two end boxes and then releasing. To move your line to a parallel location, Drag it from the middle box and then release. You can also make a duplicate parallel line by selecting the original line, holding down the control key, dragging it elsewhere, and then releasing. You can view and edit the line properties when it is selected by right clicking and choosing trend line properties. In the Parameters tab, you can select or deselect Ray to show the line's extension within your chart. You have three options for deleting vertical, horizontal, and trend lines. One, you can right-click on a selected line and choose Delete. Two, you can right-click on a selected line and 
to the objects list. Here you can manage all of your chart objects. Or three, to delete the most recent object placed on your chart, you can simply hit the backspace key on your keyboard. For additional assistance managing or modifying any of your lines, you can click Help in your file toolbar and browse the Help topics. For more information on working with charts, watch our Working with MetaTrader 4 Charts Part 2 video tutorial.